All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder, and welcome back, fellas. Today, we're going to be playing one of my favorite new mobile games ever, a little bit of Dark Eden, and man, this game is fun, boys. As you can see, I have leveled all the way up to level 40, and I'm in my little Batmobile ride here, just riding around, cruising for bruising, <laughs> looking to rank up my character and farm a little XP and man, this is one of my favorite places to do it right here. Farming these nub cakes with my Slayer character. And I've got my little uh, Lily Succubus pet behind me. What she does is when I drop these dudes, sometimes they'll drop some loot. Killing all these Reapers. Uh, they'll drop loot and Lily will just go around picking everything up, making it super easy for me. There's a whole lot to do here on this game, guys. It's a classic MMO RPG loot them uh stab them i guess you could say as i'm playing as the slayer there are two races of uh, warriors in this game there's the slayers and the vampires and there's all different kinds of uh, people to pick from uh, i'll show you guys a little bit later when we get to the arena portion of the video but these are the buffs i'm using right here guys you want to use these buffs all the time while fighting you can increase your speed your attack power increase your movement increase your evasion uh, th there's just so much to do in this game guys and you always want to have these buffs active because the more buffs you have active the faster you'll just uh, grind through the game and cut down all these enemies here and mobile gaming guys really is the wave of the future this game is free you can click the link down in the description of this video you download it to your phone uh, oh I'm also using the uh, silver plating buff uh, it lasts for 90 seconds, and when it attacks vampires, it reduces their max HP. Uh, the silver plating is awesome. I love it. And, uh, yeah, as soon as that thing is done recharging, I will be using it again. <laughs> because the more buffs you have, the better, baby. Uh, this is so many things to do in this game, guys. Lots of different missions. You can do main quests, side quests. Uh, I mean, as you can see at the top there, my notifications. I got six notifications on the bell. Uh, the menu, the events, there's just so much going on. Uh, you won't get bored playing this game. I'll tell you guys that right now. And I also use that little green potion there, you see. Uh, lasts for about half an hour. Increases my attack speed and movement speed by 10%. Uh, and it's, again, man, more potion, more buffs, the better, man. That's the theme of this video. Buffs, potions, and just farming. Farming XP. As you can see, these guys are good for about 49 XP a piece and you know you want to keep your potions stocked so you go to the shop here and as you can see there's health potions you can buy and i have these set to auto they just auto refill whenever i need them the game is super easy to play super fun you can pretty much auto battle all the way through the game but you want to make sure you keep your potions up fellas there's also a lot of other things you could get here uh in dark eden the store has pretty much everything you want as far as progression and xp goes um, but me, I'm just grinding my way through it, stacking up on some HP enhancement potions here. And, uh, yeah, you definitely want to have a lot of hit points. You can take more damage. And, what well, we got resilience potions here. Yeah, these things are nice, too. The resilience potion. And, yeah, I'll be doing a whole lot of taking potion now while playing this game. A little speed enhancement potion. Oh, yeah, my man is going to be jacked up. It's pretty much... The uh, G Fuel of Dark Eden, that speed enhancement potion right there, man. And there you go. I'm just going to stay in here and keep cutting down these bad guys. And it's just a good investment of your time right here, fellas. Just hacking and slashing. You could do it on the go on your phone, playing mobile games, or you're sitting in the car or going someplace on a long trip. We've got some upgrade materials here, too, fellas. You want to make sure you upgrade your weapons because the, the more you upgrade your weapons the stronger they become and the more powerful you become you can really get a whole lot of weapons here as you can see my sword got that little uh, enhancement there after i upgraded it and i'm cutting these guys down even faster now just a great hack and slash game and man it's super uh, addictive playing this game that's all i can say man <laughs> once you start playing it you just don't want to put it down as i just hack and slash my way through all these reapers uh, but there is more to do in this game than just farming and hacking and slashing. There's main quests, there's side quests, there's raids you could go on, man. As you can see, I got all my buffs active here. You could always keep track of your buffs. And 
popping some potions right now, increasing my battle power, my combat power just shot up to 59,000, ooh, 60,000 now. My combat power keeps going up. Uh, lots of uh, stats on the screen here, guys. You can pretty much see everything that you're doing. You can see all your active buff infos right here. I got the resilience potion going. I've got the HP potion going. I've got the attack power potion. And yeah, I just pretty much just jacking up my character, <laughs> making them as powerful as I can. So he just cuts down these reapers and I just keep getting XP and gold for every kill. I'm getting one gold for every kill. Uh, gold is pretty important to have in this game. You can use it to fast travel. You can use it to purchase upgrades. And there's also upgrade medals. I'll show you how to get those a little bit later when we hit the arena portion of the video. And I think we've hacked up these dudes enough. So let's segue over to the next part of this video, fellas. I'm going to show you guys. There's other things to do other than farming. Uh, farming these Reapers here in Dark Eden, which, again, is great for gold and it's great for XP. Uh, you can also battle in heads-up PvP arenas. As you see, the side scroll right there. Uh, you could do race missions. You could do um, potion missions. You can do uh, a craftsman. You could craft items. Monster hunting, which is what I'm doing right now. Uh, 136 monsters killed. I got uh, out of 1,800, 137. Uh, purification missions. I mean, dude, there's just so many things to do in this game to keep you guys busy. You will never get bored playing this game. And you guys can get it for free just by clicking the link down in the description. Now, I'm doing a local purification uh, mission right here. And this is a great way to get XP and tier medals and gold. And this is a super easy one I like to do. Uh, killing these crimson um, monsters right here. And as you can see, when I'm done, all I have to do is click on the uh, green link in the feed. And that will give you all your XP. 62,000 XP, 160 tier medals, 2,000 gold. And there you go, fellas. That's one of my favorite ways to rank up in this game. Doing the lower tiered missions that gives you a boatload of XP and uh, tier medals, which you can use for to purchase items in the tier shop. So if you guys are running low on gold... It's all good, baby. There's tons of different ways to get your upgrades in this game. We're going to head over to the shop right now. And I'm going to show you guys what I use my tier medals for, man. Potion, of course. Make myself more OP, more powerful. We've got improved speed enhancement potion, improved attack enhancement potion, improved HP potion. I don't really have enough to buy that. That is an advanced upgrade stone box. But if I wanted to grind for it, I could get it. 50,000 tier medals, you know, no problem. <laughs> Just do a couple more local missions. And I like this potion right here, improved attack potion. Uh, like I said, man, anything that's going to make me stronger, I'm all for it. And look at Lily Succubus just sitting there, just chilling, just watching me dominate, waiting for something to drop so she could pick it up. <laughs> but anyway, guys, there's more to do than PvE in this game. You could also do PvP. This is a PvP battle. You basically just pit your character up against another player and as you can see i'm playing as a slayer and this person is playing as something else i'm not really sure what character she's using but she looks pretty cool and she has like aoe magic effects and then she could drop these skulls on my head so tons of different characters to use tons of different ways to play but of course your boy just dominated her just because like i said man i'm taking all that potion man i'm all jacked up son <laughs> all jacked up and i've upgraded my character and that's just how it works, man. Survival of the fittest. I mean, look at that sword I've got, dude. It just looks so cool. So we could do five of these matches a day. I'm going to move on to my second match here. And, ooh, this is another character. This big dude with a... I just got a gigantic, I don't know, battle maul or whatever he's using. And he's dropping all kinds of AoE magics on me, too. He's using magic and melee. Uh, that character looks pretty cool. Not going to lie. That might be something you guys might want to try out. But, of course... He got annihilated by me, the Slayer. <laughs> the Slayer. And I know I could upgrade my character even more where he grows wings out of his back. I haven't done that yet, but I can't wait to do that. That's going to be pretty cool. And we move on to round three now. I am fighting yet another different character. This guy looks like... I don't even know what kind of character this guy is. Dagalord. <laughs> But he looks like some kind of mage. Once again, he's casting AoE spells on me. A lot of spell users in this game. I believe this guy is a monster. Whoa, what do I got? Some kind of Doc Ock thing going on out of my back? I didn't even know what I'm doing to this guy. But, oh, I've got a helper helping me? I, I don't know what happened there. I really don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of surprises in this game. And even though I'm level 40, I'm still learning, guys. But that was pretty cool. So I've won my third match in a row. And we got two more matches to go. 
And I think it's against this Layla person. I think I actually play her twice. Now, Layla comes out and it looks like she's using ranged weapons instead of sorcery. So, like I said before, fellas, tons of different ways to play this game. She's got and she's dropping missiles on me now. What the heck? She's called in kill streaks on me. What? That's <laughs> golden the airstrike, son. And damn, I think she even tried to bust out the RPG of justice on me. What, what has she got? A shotgun? I know that ain't no 725, baby, or else I would have got bodied. <laughs> I don't know what she's she's using some kind of ranged weapon, but I'm in there just sorting and meleeing her to death. And it doesn't look like she stands a chance as she got bodied by the Slayer and the Sword. And once again, I pick up 80,000 XP. So this is another great way to rank up, fellas. So, yeah, Layla wasn't much of a challenge. Oh, looks like she's back for more. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go up against Layla again. <laughs> I'm going to go up against Layla one more time. And right off the bat, man, she tries to hit me with the RPG of Justice. What? <laughs> That's okay, because much like in some other games, the sword is mightier than the weapon. <laughs> this is just absolute carnage going on right here. Uh, these arena battles are fast and fun, guys, and you get to see all the different abilities of all the other characters in the game. And, uh, yeah, this character actually looks pretty cool. She's got a nice arsenal of bombs and RPGs and, and guns, but like I said, man, my character is just too OP. And there you go, guys. I dominated the arena. I won all five of my matches. And damn, it feels good. Feels good to be a winner, baby. So now we're back to the main game. And yeah, you could do quests in this game too, fellas. Or you could just simply free roam and farm. You could do whatever you want here. And uh, yeah, there's kinds of like, there you go. I get the reward for participating in the arena. I get rewards for hunting monsters. You're constantly being rewarded for every single thing you do in this game, and I love it. It's great to always get rewarded for your efforts, isn't it, guys? And it's even better when you can do it for free. <laughs> because like I said, man, this game is free to download on your phone. Uh, you guys should definitely do it because no matter where you are in life, there's always going to be a moment where you're sitting around bored just doing nothing on your phone. You might as well be playing a pretty cool MMORPG like dark eden so the link is down in the description guys click on it download it on your phones try it out for yourself you could even do dungeons you could do dungeon battles in here there's tons i've never seen a game that offered you so many different fun game modes and so many different ways to get loot and rank up your character and uh yeah so me and lily succubus are going to sit in here and dominate this dungeon well i'm going to dominate the dungeon while lily just sits there looking all cute picking up all the uh <laughs> the loot that gets dropped on the ground and uh, yeah, that's all I got, fellas, for Dark Eden. So thank you so much to the people of Dark Eden for sponsoring the video. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you guys do download this game and try it out for yourself. It is a ton of fun. And I will see you on the next one. I'm out. Peace. All right, fellas. So check this out, man. I forgot to tell you guys about one of the coolest things to do in this game, which is actually make money. You click on that little Debco tab at the bottom there. It'll take you to this screen right here. And then you can use all of your metals to trade for uh, Debco coins, which then you can convert into real cash. And we're going to look at how it's done right here. You got to download this little WeMix app, get it on your phone. This is the currency wallet here, I guess. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a few steps here. You got to enter in your password a few times, but you know, it might be confusing to you at first, but after you do it once or twice, you'll be a pro man. And there you go. <laughs> you can sell and convert all your money right here. I mean, pretty cool, a play to earn video game. So you're not wasting your time, you know, not earning any money. You could actually earn crypto while you game here on dark Eden, an awesome MMO humans versus vampires. Like I said. And there you go, fellas. There's how you convert. You're going to turn your password a few more times here. You definitely don't want to forget your password while doing this one, fellas. It could uh, it could be a process if you do. <laughs> there you go, man. You could convert your WeMix credit into real cash. Play to earn MMO RPG NFT. This game's got it all, fellas. This game has got it all. So, yep, you got to enter in your password one more time to exchange. And bam. There you go. You actually have real cash just from gaming a pretty fun game over here on Dark Eden M. So hit the link down in the description, fellas. Tell Dark Eden M to come on in, play to earn NFT RPG MMO humans versus vampires, a classic tale. And there you go, fellas. It's uh, 
it's really not as confusing as it looks it's really really easy go try it out for yourself and thank you guys all so much for watching i'll see you on the next one